Darrell Williams trying to dive, 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 touchdown, Kansas City, Darrell Williams gets barely into the end zone with 20 seconds left in the game to put the Chiefs up 33-30. Hello and welcome into the Breakdown. I'm your host, Matt McMullen, and today we're talking Chiefs and Lions following Kansas City's wild 34-30 victory over Detroit on Sunday afternoon. This was a crazy football game, plain and simple, but thanks to some fourth-quarter heroics by Patrick Mahomes and company, the Chiefs are 4-0 for a third straight year. Let's kick things off with Coach Reed's opening statement from the post-game presser. All right, um, as far as the injuries go, um, Okafor... Um, just strain his hip a little bit, but I think he's going to be all right when it's when it's all said and done. The Damian Wilson thing was kind of weird. Um, you know, they, they asked him to come off the field, and then there was a little confusion after that exactly what went on. And then they said he could come back in, but it all worked out where he could come back in if we needed him at the at the end there. So um, my hat goes off to Matt pa- Patricia for the job that he's done. I mean, we saw this on tape, so this wasn't something that we came here not knowing. Uh, but he has done a phenomenal job with this football team. And their personnel guys have brought some good players in to go with that. But this is a well-coached football team right here. And, um, again, my hat goes off to him for the job that he's, he's done. Um, the Lions are in a good place with him at the, at the helm there. Um, turnovers were a factor in the game, so... We had three of them, um, but we, we ended up getting that score on one of theirs. They had a couple of them, and, and we were able to score on that. Again, uh, Spags continually gets after these guys about scooping and scoring when you're given the opportunity and then finishing the play. Now, Tyron helped him along, uh, helped Breland along with that uh, finish. You saw when he got to about the 50, he slowed down a little bit, but ended up taking it the rest of the way. Um, and I'm sure Matt's telling his guys the same thing I'm saying. You can't have the turnovers that, that you have or it costs you. And this team here, the Lions, has, has done a great job. They did it against the Chargers, and uh, they've done a great job of uh, getting themselves scores off of turnovers and capitalizing on those things. I was proud of our defensive front for uh, the four sacks. Um, this is a quarterback that hasn't been sacked at all this year. To, to have those sacks, I thought, was was a big was a big thing. And um, listen, we have, a, we have a ton to work on, both sides of the ball, special teams. So when we go back, we're going to enjoy this one. But when we get back, uh, we'll have some work to do. Uh, we're getting ready for our next opponent there. So, But this, uh, we'll enjoy it. This is a tough place to play, and it's hard to win in the National Football League. So, uh, again, uh, we'll take it. A win is a win, and we will absolutely take it. There's a lot to break down in this one, but let's start from the beginning, where the Chiefs got off to a slow start and fell behind by 10 points early. The Lions connected on a field goal on their very first drive before Matthew Stafford found rookie tight end TJ Hawkinson for a five-yard touchdown on their second possession, building an early lead. This wasn't the first time Kansas City needed to fight back from an early deficit, though, and while we didn't see an explosive, high-powered second quarter this week, the Chiefs still found a way to claw back into the game. The Chiefs were on the board soon enough with a field goal, but the comeback really began with a 39-yard run by LaShawn McCoy, who cut and weaved his way down the field on the first play of the Chiefs' fourth drive to set up an eventual touchdown. Left side run, McCoy, 40-yard line, Shady cuts it back, 45, and midfield, downfield block, 40, 35, and the old war horse will just gallop down the track. A 39-yard run by Shady McCoy. Shady showed off the vision and the quickness that makes him so dangerous on this offense, and just five plays later, McCoy was in the end zone to tie things up. Give it off to McCoy again, hesitates, driving, driving, touchdown, Kansas City, and Shady brings six points to the Chiefs. Chiefs kingdom on a tough run on third and inches. The two teams traded field goals over the rest of the first half, as Harrison Bucker connected on a 44-yard attempt with seconds left in the period to tie things up before a truly wild second half got underway. And when I say wild, it was absolutely ridiculous. Chock full of momentum swing after momentum swing. First, the Lions stripped return man McCole Hardman on the opening kickoff of the second half to get the ball in great field position. And they appeared to cash in when Matthew Stafford found Kenny Galladay in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. But the score was waved off following a review, and just a play later, Derek Noddy stripped the ball free from Stafford, and Chris Jones recovered it. Stafford to throw under pressure, pump faking. He's going to try to run for it, and the Chiefs will get him back. Oh, there they fumble. Chiefs pick it up at the end of the play, and Stafford fumbles it, and the Chiefs recover it, and the Lions get no points out of the drive at all. 
It felt like a huge play at the time and represented a massive win for the Chiefs defense. But there was more of that to come just a little bit later. In fact, Darrell Williams fumbled it away on the Chiefs' next possession. And once the Lions took over, they drove it all the way down to the Kansas City one-yard line and appeared to be knocking on the door of a touchdown when Carrion Johnson plunged ahead for the goal line. The play appeared to be over, with the Lions just short of a touchdown. But next thing you know, Bashad Breeland was running down the field with the ball in his hands, and the whistle never blew. Oh my goodness! Kansas City! Touchdown! Kansas City! A 99 and a half yard fumble return for a touchdown! As the Huddy Badger knocked it out just short of the goal line, everybody stopped except Brashad Breland. The officials reviewed the play, and in one of the craziest turn of events you'll ever see, the ball was indeed out before Johnson was down, and Breland's heads-up decision to return the ball the length of the field was rewarded with six points. More on that play a little bit later. Detroit wouldn't go away, however, as they responded with ten unanswered points to retake the lead, but Kansas City would answer in the early minutes of the fourth quarter. In fact, on the first play of the final quarter, Patrick Mahomes found Travis Kelsey for a decent gain, but Kelsey then tossed it backwards to LaShawn McCoy, who picked up another 23 yards on the impromptu hook and ladder. Mahomes again being chased, trying to keep the play alive. Throws it sidearm. He's got Kelsey, flips it off to Shady McCoy, 20, inside the 15, as Travis Kelsey, the high school quarterback from Cleveland, Ohio, had the ball in his hands. As the defender came, he flipped it back, and the Chiefs rugby team gets a gain of 32 yards. I don't know if the play was drawn up like that or not, but it was awesome. Here's what Mahomes had to say about that play after the game. There was another play where I was just trying to scramble and extend the play, and the guys were working for me. And I actually saw LaShawn first, but then I saw Kelsey further down the field, and I, I threw it to him, and I just saw that look in his eye, and I knew something was going to happen. So, I, <laughs> but, uh, but that's such an amazing play, but I got to think that in that moment. And it's a selfless play because, I mean, that's giving all of his yards to LaShawn on, on that play. So it just shows in the same sense as he, he just wants to win in whatever way possible. The Chiefs later cashed in on that drive as Darrell Williams scored on a one-yard touchdown run, again putting Kansas City back in front. They give it off, Darrell Williams wide open in this right side, touchdown, Kansas City! And the right side, the Canadian doctor goes to the operating room and blows out the left side of the Lion defense, and the Chiefs regain the lead. The Lions would answer, however, as Stafford found Kenny Galladay for a six-yard go-ahead touchdown a few drives later to take a three-point lead with just over two minutes left. That set the stage for one final drive for the Chiefs, and once again, Patrick Mahomes demonstrated why he's the reigning league most valuable player. Mahomes led Kansas City on a 13-play, 79-yard drive to retake the lead with just 20 seconds left as Darrell Williams plunged ahead into the end zone. You heard the call of that play in our open, and what a relief it was to see Williams fighting for that final score to ultimately preserve the Chiefs' perfect record. I'll get to Mahomes' performance in a minute, but I think it's so cool that Darrell Williams could be one of the heroes here in this one. He's a guy who went undrafted last year and earned his spot on this roster through tireless effort. And in crunch time, he saw all that hard work pay off. Here's what Williams had to say about his game-winning touchdown. Oh, You know, everybody was in the huddle. Everybody was real calm. Um, No doubt in our mind, we know what's going to go in there and scope. I had to do whatever it takes to get in there. I know for sure I was in there the first time. Um, You know, the O-line did a great job up front. I just had to win my one-on-one battle. Now let's move on to Mahomes, who completed six of nine passes for 55 yards in that drive. But perhaps the most critical, heart-pumping play came on the ground. Facing a fourth and eight at midfield, Mahomes scrambled for 15 yards to move the chains and keep Kansas City's hopes alive. Mahomes steps up into the pocket. He'll scramble 40-45 across up to the midfield and scrambles for a run of 16 yards. That's the play the Lions give up with that scheme. I mean, it doesn't get any more gutsy than that. And they weren't done. Mahomes found Kelsey for 18 yards in the Chiefs' next play and later hit Byron Pringle for a 13-yard gain to get the ball down to the three-yard line. Williams then rushed it in to take the lead, and the rest is history. If I could recap all of this in just one word, wow. Here's what Mahomes had to say about the mood in the huddle on that final drive. I think the whole message that I had the whole second half to my teammates in the huddle was just be be who we are. Uh, I mean, it's not about someone having to do something spectacular. It's not about someone having to do and be more than what the, than themselves. It's about believing in each other and just being who we are and then letting their, everything kind of fall in line when you ever you follow those footsteps. All right, let's dive into my three stats to know from this game. My first stat is four. Bashad Breeland became just the fourth player in NFL history to return a fumble 100 yards for a touchdown on Sunday. A play like that is just incredibly rare, and it happened at the most opportune of times for the Chiefs on Sunday. Here's what Breland had to say about that play after the game. Nah, I mean, I saw it down. I didn't hear no whistle. Uh, I saw my teammate picked it up, and he kind of put it back down. I still didn't hear a whistle, so I just went and picked it up, and he ran, ran with it. 
just hope that it was down, wasn't uh, down. My second stat is five. The Chiefs defense tallied five quarterback hits on Sunday, which included four sacks. Chris Jones, Tyron Matthew, Alex Okafor, and Frank Clark all had a hand in that, and that penetration up front played a big role in those timely turnovers that ultimately helped prevent scores. It's also worth mentioning that the Lions hadn't allowed a sack in two straight games coming into this one, making the Chiefs' ability to get after Stafford all the more impressive. Moving things back to the offense, my final stat is 300. Patrick Mahomes notched his 14th career 300-yard game on Sunday, passing Pro Football Hall of Famer Kurt Warner for the most such performances through a player's first 20 games. It's just another record for Mahomes who seems to get a new one every week, and it leads perfectly into my final thoughts on this game. Look, the stats and records are awesome. Mahomes is rewriting the record books before our eyes, and he's still just 24 years old. But to me, that's not the most impressive thing about him. You find out a lot about a player and a team when their back is up against the wall, especially considering that things hadn't gone perfectly in this one. The Chiefs had one final drive to either win or lose the football game. And without showing any panic or doubt, Mahomes led his team to a victory. That's what MVPs do, and we have one here in Kansas City. LaShawn McCoy really put it best after the game. It's a special team. Any other team in the NFL, for the four or five turnovers, they lose by a lot. And we kept battling, kept fighting. Our MVP, he showed who he was um, in clutch time. He stepped up big, made some big plays, some scrambles, some good completions. Um, the guys rallied with him from the linemen um, to the guys in the backfield to the wide receivers. Just a, a great effort, man, in clutch time. It shows you what type of like championship a pedigree, championship, attitude, and swagger they have. This team is special. My message to everybody who roots for the red and gold is simple. Enjoy this ride. That's all I have today, everybody. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll see you next week.